Hey there, everybody. If you have ever thought that Braxton Hicks are one of the most confusing things in pregnancy, then you're in the right place because I have the internet's top 20 questions about Braxton Hicks, and I'm going to get answers to you quickly. We're going to do it rapid fire style, and I'm going to give myself five minutes to do it. Let's get started now. Are Braxton Hicks painful? So I would say most people describe them as uncomfortable, and some people do describe them as painful. So they do have a range of sensation, but most people don't think they're painful. Are Braxton Hicks a sign of labor? No, Braxton Hicks don't indicate that labor is starting. Are Braxton Hicks normal? Yes, Braxton Hicks can be very normal. So most people will experience Braxton Hicks in their pregnancy, but not everybody does. Are Braxton Hicks a good sign? They're not necessarily a good sign or a bad sign. They are just something that's normal. That is the uterus kind of getting ready, practicing for labor. Are Braxton Hicks like period cramps? Not really. Braxton Hicks are usually felt higher and all around the uterus and period cramps are usually felt below the belly button. And that's usually where we feel contractions too. So they're not really like period cramps. Are Braxton Hicks more common at night? I don't know the actual research on this, but I would say just anecdotally that most people can experience Braxton Hicks um, any time of the day, but a lot of times when you're more tired or when you're more dehydrated, which generally happens like at the end of a long work day or maybe at night is when people uh, feel them. Also, if you're not busy, you might feel them more than when you are busy. So that's why people might notice them more at night. Can Braxton Hicks last four hours? So I think they probably can, but I would say if you are feeling Braxton Hicks that are lasting for hours, I would definitely make sure you're very hydrated because dehydration sometimes can make your uterus start contracting or can increase in Braxton Hicks. And if you ever have a concern, like something is going on for a long period of time, don't hesitate to call your care provider and ask them that question. Which week do Braxton Hicks start? So there's no answer to this. Some people experience Braxton Hicks earlier in their pregnancy in their second trimester, and some people don't start experiencing them right until the very end. So it's different for everyone. Will Braxton Hicks make you dilate? So I would say no. Braxton Hicks really don't, uh, do, don't change your cervix. Um, though some people might think that dilation has ca been caused from that Braxton Hicks, those were not Braxton Hicks contractions if they dilate you. What Braxton Hicks look like? So that's interesting. A lot of people will say that when they're experiencing a Braxton Hicks, if they look at their stomach, that it looks like all balled up or they can see the baby. Maybe it feels like two kind of balls, like hard balls in there. So when your uterus is contracting up like a Braxton, with a Braxton Hicks, it might look um, kind of lumpy or hard because you can see the baby's body underneath the muscle of your uterus. Why do Braxton Hicks occur? So Braxton Hicks are normal, like we said earlier. Uh, that's kind of the uterus's way of practicing, getting ready for labor. But sometimes we see the Braxton Hicks will occur, like I said, if you are tired, if you are de dehydrated. Are Braxton Hicks dangerous? So no, Braxton Hicks, true Braxton Hicks are not dangerous. Now, if you had uterine contractions, which the difference is you would feel them really low, so usually you feel them low, and they, um, if there was a contraction that wouldn't let go, this is very, very rare, that might be dangerous, but Braxton Hicks themselves, sensations that come and go, tightening that comes and goes, um, that is not dangerous. Are Braxton Hicks different with a second baby? So a lot of people, once they have given birth one time, whether it's a second, third, fourth baby, a lot of times they experience or notice Braxton Hicks earlier in their pregnancy. What happens when Braxton Hicks are getting more frequent, so they're coming more frequently? So this again might be tired or dehydrated, I've said that before, um, or it could be that you are getting closer to your due date and your uterus is just practicing more. Um, a little bit more active, that could happen. Braxton Hicks happen, do they happen near your due date? Yes, they can, or they can happen before your due date as well. 
And then King Braxton makes me feel it in my back. I guess probably because some people feel period cramps and contractions in their back, but you, usually the Braxton Hicks is just that tightening of the uterus felt high above the belly button. I hope I got it in in five minutes. Now, if you love these rapid fire style videos, I have a whole playlist for you that you can get to right here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.